Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a ring-tailed lemur pencil climber using your rainbow loom. The loom is set up in the staggered or offset position so that those of you with other brands of looms should be able to follow along as well. To make the ring-tailed lemur, you will need three colors of rubber bands. You'll want 60 in the color of the body. I've used neon green here. You'd want to use a gray for a more realistic looking lemur. 23 in the color of the face. Uh, I'm going to use white. You'll want to make sure that that is a color that's lighter than whatever color you use for the body. And 13 in the color that you have for the eyes, the feet, and the stripes on the tail. To begin, look at your loom. Make sure you're on the right side of it. That's where this arrow is. Right meaning correct. Uh, and take your rubber bands. We're going to start with the body color. I'm going to use gray. Take a single band and place it on that center peg going forward. Then take two rubber bands at a time from the center peg to the side and the center peg to the other side and then switching to the face color two in each of the rows of pegs just like that and we're going to set up the bands for the ears as well you want to take one rubber band in the color of the body and one in the color of the face and put those there and again on the other side so it should look like this and we need to put cap bands on each of these for the tops of the ears in the face color. So you take a single rubber band and you wrap it around that peg three times more if you're using a very stretchy brand of rubber bands. I'm using Rainbow Loom brand so three works out just fine. And do the same on this side. so that it's wrapped around that peg three times. Moving right along, you're going to take two more in the face color and bring it down on an angle. And then in the center, going straight and on the opposite side coming in to form the bottom of the lemur's face and then switching to our body color two at a time for the neck and two at a time for the shoulders And now two at a time for the next three positions. The body of our lemur climber is going to be a little bit bigger than the body of our lion was um, so that it looks cute from behind uh, because it's positioned a little bit different than the lion was. So once you've put your three pairs of bands, you bring one for the bottom of the body in on the diagonal to the center. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So Two at a time. And 
and then another two going in to the center. And now we want to fill in the center row of the body, two bands at a time. Just like that. And now we're ready to do the two sides for the legs, continuing with two in the body color for the first two positions. So that's one, two, and then switching to the color that you're using for the stripes on the tail, the eyes, and the feet. I'm going to use black. And then two more in the color of the body. And then repeat that same pattern on the other side of your loom. So two of the body color, two of the body color again, two for the color of the feet and tail and eyes, and then switch back to your body color. So looking at that from the side, the body color, body color, feet, body, body, because this is the leg as it will come up on the other side. Now for the bottom pegs here and here, take a single band and wrap it around three times. This one, even if you can, you don't want to do tighter. We're going to need this to stretch over a peg later. So you don't want to make it tighter than three. So now we're going to build our tail. And we're going to alternate. To make the distinctive striped pattern that the ring-tailed lemur has. I'm going black, white, black, white, and then we're going to want our tail even longer, in my opinion, than the loom allows us. So I'm going to create an extension once I have all the rubber bands on the loom. We want to add here and here the rubber band that you want for your eye color. And this one is really ideal to get wrapped around four times so that the eyes stay neat and tight. But again, depending on the brand of rubber band you're using, just do the best you can. For my Rainbow Loom brand black, wrapping it around four times works well. And then a single band in the color of the face in the shape of a triangle with those two eyes being at the bottom. And then you're going to take your hook and bring those black bands up and over the peg. And it's okay if it takes more than one, as long as you get them all there in the end. So that's where one eye is. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Catching those black bands and bringing them over. Just like that until all four are there and your two eyes are in place. And now we need to add triangle bands across the body. Like that. 
Okay, now we have all of the rubber bands that are on this chart except for this tail extension. I'm going to move these out of the way so it's easier to focus. To make the tail extension, you're going to take your hook, wrap a single band around three times for the very tip of your tail. Then we're going to take two rubber bands in the color of the body, pull them tight, and push that tripled over band to the center. If it doesn't want to push over, you can pull it up and over. But in the end, that's what you want it to look like. And then we're going to add the color that we used for the face. Oops, just two of them. I just took three. And then one more in the color you used on the tip. So you have those bands set, bring your loom back, and this is going to be slid right over the center peg to be the bottom of the tail. And we're ready to put our whole lemur together. First thing we're going to do is just get our ears set up going to do something a little bit backwards here starting from the top. We're going to come in here, catch those two bands and bring them through like that. And then you can take this ear off and to the side like that. Repeat that on this side. Coming in here to catch those two bands, bringing them up and around the peg, trying to keep your cap from popping up like mine did. <laughs> Putting that one back on. Okay, there we go. Now my cap is staying down. Bring that right there to that next peg. So that's what it should look like. And then you can take that cap band off this peg and twist this around to the side. So now that's ready for us later. And coming back to the bottom, we're going to hook the center for the tail first. Looping up until the tail meets the body, right there. And then we can start doing our legs from the bottom here. Looping forward. you meet the body. Now we can do the other leg. Keeping your thumb on that cap so it doesn't go flying away on you. Okay, for this last one, right before it meets the body, we're just going to take this triangle band off the peg for a moment. Bring this up. 
And then we're going to take this pair of legs off the loom because it needs to be attached somewhere else. So keep your finger on it and pop it off like that. Then replace your triangle band and we're going to bring this leg up to the shoulder here. Stretch it over like that. And coming back down here, we can now hook from the center of the tail two loops that go straight forward and then two that are coming to the left. But now we need, before we move this one from the center to the right, we want to get the legs attached. So we're going to take this one off and swing it around so that cap band stretches over the peg that's at the other bottom corner of the body. Do you see that? This leg is now going from this peg, which is at the bottom of the body, wrapping around, and I stretch that cap over this peg. Now we can go back into this place where the tail attached and catch the bands that go up to that side. And we can come in here and bring two rubber bands forward and repeat again. But we're going to stop before we do this one because we're going to need to attach that leg but it's easier for us to get these secured without that leg in the way. So I'm going to do the center row now, all the way up to here and the left. And this one we're going to go all the way to the shoulder, not stopping before. So that we can lock this leg into place. And you can bring the one from the shoulder on this side, which is these two bands underneath, to the center. And so now we're going to swing this leg around. I'm going to put my hook back through the cap to make that easier and so you can see better. I'm going to stretch it down and around these pegs so that it is out of the way for us to hook the rest that we need to do. And place it over that other shoulder. Now we can do this coming back one the pair of bands that come here and go to the shoulder and then the one in the shoulder that goes to the center and finally the middle row going forward to keep it all nice and neat and secure. Confirm that you have looped everything because you don't want to continue if anything hasn't been looped on the body. Then we can go into the center of the neck to catch those two bands that are going forward. Walk them around that peg and up to the chin. And to finish off on the face, going into the chin position, getting the two white bands that are on top and bringing them the side and then coming here to get the side of the face 
and bring it up to where that ear is. And now before you move on, you want to take that ear and stretch it up and over the peg so that it comes to the front like that. Now we can do the center of the face, which is the next two white bands from the chin. Going forward and the center. And now back to the chin again to go to the other side of the face and bringing these two from the bottom forward and once again now repositioning our ear pulling it up and over and if it gets twisted like mine that's okay you can fix it there we go now I've got my two ears and I can do the top of the head on this side and the top of the head here. And we have just one more rubber band to go. Please be gentle with this one rubber band. This is the one most likely to break. And if it breaks, don't worry, you can always string another one in before you take it off the loom. So we're going to come underneath all of those loops and catch that band that's going forward. Take both sides of the rubber band onto your hook and we're gonna slide this half of the rubber band through the other side like that. And then give it a little bit of a tug to create a knot, but don't pull too hard. This would break because of all the tension from those bands. We can make it much tighter once we remove all those bands from the peg, like that. Now you can secure it. And we're ready to take our whole lemur off of the loom. Be careful with the neck too, in terms of how many bands are on there if you pulled with just your fingers, you might snap that. So use your hook to help get all of those bands off of that peg. And then take your hook out. We can take our tail off. Everything is connected together now. You just want to make sure you don't pull too hard on any one band. And it'll all come off. And there we have our little lemur with its tail that you can pose wherever you would like it. And for a finishing touch, I think it's important to make this band disappear unless you're planning to hang this charm somewhere. If you're not, then just come behind, put your hook through, and tug that band down. And you may need to do that more than once to get it positioned how you want it to be. I hope you liked making this lemur charm with me today. If you did, please click like below and subscribe. I would also love to hear from you in the comments section. Uh, tell me about your experience making this charm and tell me what charms you'd like to see me make next. Thank you so much and I look forward to looming with you again soon. Bye-bye!